Okay, so. Just sit up here. Sorry. I'm going to disturb you. Anyways. So. And normally I don't make eye contact um, with the camera because it feels weird. But I think uh, that's another thing that stems from my past is uh, lack of eye contact at times. Sometimes I have no problem with it. Other times I have an issue with it. But um, one thing I wanted to discuss is something a little bit more serious is um, uh, I was just... Um, mentioning this to somebody I know and uh, the whole idea of being like a clean freak and having the house all tidy all the time and constantly wanting uh, that control because I feel that that's you know a form of control one of the only things I can control um, having it clean all the time and you know I did grow up in a household that things you know needed to be in their specific spot in, in their place and there was a reason for that because um, the main reason people want control is normally if, if something has happened that has made them feel any way out of control that you know um, they kind of make up for it in other departments and uh, unfortunately uh, it's the same when it comes to cleanliness, hygiene, and stuff like that. And I think one of my biggest uh, insecurities that has come up in the past and uh, something I had to take a look at was um, if other people made certain comments or uh, anything, even if it was unrelated, even if it uh, didn't even you know, had nothing to do with me, just a comment towards me about hygiene or anything like that, or when, you know, other people, um, you know, say other things to other people about that sort of thing. Uh, it's like it was a touchy subject at one point because it's almost like uh, what my own parents had gone through in their lives that made them feel any way, like, unclean, okay? Um, because they were made to feel a certain way when it came to their own children um, and it came to cleanliness, you know, I was kind of, um, I was made to feel like I was unclean and that I needed to, um, you know, I even remember being poured a bath at one time and then I got in, it was too hot and I said, it's too hot. And they just yelled, uh, you'll get used to it. So, uh, it's stuff like that. Um, and being kind of treated like you're dirty or anything like that. And that only stems from their own experiences. Not necessarily that a child is dirty. It's not necessarily that, oh, you know, um, it comes down to the whole clean freak, OCD, sometimes um, the whole need to, uh, yeah, but that was projected towards me personally. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever experienced that with your own life growing up, uh, if you were treated a certain way, and then when it comes to your own hygiene, your own cleanliness, um, some people take a route of making fun of other people. And then some people don't, but then they feel insecure or something if, you know, something's not in check. Uh, uh, let's say your breath smells or something like that, or your feet stink. I don't know. But it's, it, you're a fucking human being, okay? Do your best to take care of yourself, yeah. But um, if you were made to feel dirty in some way, especially when it came to the department of uh, the sexual side of things, uh, that's usually where it stems from if you have experienced something and then you are obsessed about the cleanliness because you feel dirty or if somebody has made you feel that way because they themselves are projecting onto you because they themselves have gone through something that made them feel unclean. This is a huge thing I think I notice with myself, my experience, and then other people around me as well. Um, it's a very touchy subject 
and uh, it seems to be a trigger for a lot of people and it also seems to be like something that other individuals feel justified calling other people out on it's one thing to say hey um, you know tell somebody that something's hanging out of their shirt or you know you got a booger in your nose or something like that but when you start ridiculing somebody for something even if they that's not even the case even if that's not even true uh, you just feel the need to do that to degrade them in some way that's obviously not okay but that person themselves that's being let's say a bully or something they at some point were made to feel unclean they at some point were made to feel like they're dirty and so then that became a thing with them and however they choose to go about it afterwards is on them um, but a lot of us take up the whole idea of cleanliness uh, we're, we're made to feel like we're not clean and yes good hygiene is for your overall health but the whole idea of being made to feel unclean or made to feel dirty in some way especially if that is a parent doing it that to their own child based off of their own things that they went through uh, it can create a lot of issues for them later on and I don't think a lot of people are aware of how detrimental that is, especially with the way people walking around in society and how we're treating each other. Um, we are human beings. We all fart. <laughs> we all have bad breath in the morning most of the time. Uh, we all have moments where we've sweat so much we stink. Um, yeah. All I can say to that is that we are fucking human beings. If you walk by somebody in the grocery store and they got B.O., yeah, sometimes it's a little bit off-putting. But at the same time, you got to think to yourself, that's a fucking human being. And I'm not around them right now, so what difference does it make? I'm not interacting with them. And do I really want to make a mention of it because... You know, I've, maybe I've gone through that. So what the fuck does it matter? Mm. But yeah, coming back to the whole OCD clean thing, um, that's a form of control for me. It just seems that keeping a nice, tidy, clean home, you know, if I go into another person's home that's well lived in, that has a family, you know, They've got shit to do. They're not worried about every fucking little detail. Me walking into their home if they're so worried about a mess. Or, you know, like I'm not judging a person based on that. I'm not judging a person based on the fact that they want to wear perfume or not wear perfume. I don't care. I'm not judging a person based on that. But me, myself, had a lot of issues with my own insecurities that I have to address and I have to call out for that. And that's one of the major reasons is growing up, um, my own parents, based off of their own things they went through, they, whether or not they realized it, projected that onto me. And so I had to understand that, where it was coming from and why and make the necessary changes so that it doesn't become a problem for me. It doesn't become a trigger later on just because somebody's making a comment that probably isn't relevant to me at all. But for some reason, it's a trigger. I had to look at why that was a trigger.